bad design is like the pebble in your shoe. You notice it all the time. I've, I've been telling people online in various ways and in lectures that they should start fixing up the world by cleaning up the room. In Srimad Bhagavad Gita, there is one shloka which answers the most fundamental philosophical question, who am I, with subtle saying of, you are what you eat. On surface level, one would think that this is about food, but this is not just about food. And let's quickly understand how it is further linked to some of the most famous rules like try to make one room of your house as beautiful as possible. In your what you eat look, there are further three types of categorization for food which are first is tamasic, second is rajsi and third is sattvic. Sattvic being the most ideal one, tamasic being the worst one and rajsi is in between. When I read that, I don't know why but I felt like I should meditate on this thought more and what I understood just blew my mind and I felt like I have found some hidden treasure. I just simply asked two questions and these two questions lead me to the ultimate wisdom for life. And the first question I asked was why we eat? And answer was to survive. Then comes second question. Is act of eating can be defined by any other word? And my mind was like, yeah, consume consumption. And that was the exact point I hit a jackpot. So the whole sentence can be formulated like this that you are what you consume. We consume to survive. We eat food, read books and many more things. So basically our consumption will dictate how we will become and what we are. The variable in this equation are dependent on which category you are consuming and what amount or say proportion you are consuming. It's fair enough and very logical. How many times we have heard this that you are average of your five friends, burana bolo, burana deko, burana suno, and many more saying like this. And all come down to one thing, your consumption. Now our consumption is just not limited to one or two senses. The consumption is made from every senses like what you see, what you hear and everything. And this defines that we are consuming everything while we are awake or not awake and some consumptions are conscious and some are subconscious and in this subtle consumption just think about this that how many senses are constantly engaged with design and space amount of consumption can define our life and this would be fair to say that design of your surrounding will dictate your life that's why it is advised to make one room as beautiful as possible that's why bad design is like pepper stuck in shoe you notice it all the time we all feel good seeing organized rooms organized desks and we genuinely value it and like dirty beaches versus the clean beaches is good example. Just like Satvik, Tamsik and Ratsi, we can also bring three parallels to these three categories. Satvik being the minimalistic and Ratsi being the organized one and Tamsik being the fully chaotic space or cluttered space. Our minds are literally consuming data, interpreting and iterating meaning and doing thousands of calculations so we stay alive and we are consuming for survival. If you just keep this theory in your mind and start noticing how it affects and dictates your life, you can definitely improve your situation. Because remember, what gets measured gets improved. Why I compare minimalistic as a Satvik would be topic for another video. And wishing you a happy, happy, happy new year to all. You've been a great audience, like literally. and. We are at now 96 subs and this year's target is that we should hit 1000 subs. And if you genuinely find my content is good enough to sub, then why don't you do that? 80% of you are not doing that. Why? <laughs> so this was it for this video. And if you have any query or question, just put it down in comments and we'll see you in another one. Till then, okay.